Hello and welcome guys to this session where we'll try to find out the difference between the two interfaces of Java comparable versus comparator. So at the end of this lecture I hope that everyone will be clear what these two interfaces are, in which situations we should use them and any such difference. So for this we'll use the help of a class called employee and let's see how we proceed with it and find out the difference between these two interfaces. So let's create a class employee. So public class employee. Now the first thing which we need to do is this class should implement the comparable interface. Now this class will have certain uh, fields to it, say private string name. Let's assume the age to be integers and similarly another attribute salary which I am assuming to be integer. Let's define the constructor for this class. This will have the three parameters name, integer age and salary. This dot age is equal to age. Similarly assigning this salary. Let's add some getters for this as well. get name return name get salary return salary get age this returns age now we're done with it. So as we can see here, this employee class has an error and this is basically, let's hold it and find out. The type employee must implement the inherited abstract method compared to. So let us override the function compare to, which we'll use to compare. So how we go about it? Let's see, public int compare to now this will have as an argument the employee class object so there must be something about which we want to compare so suppose we want to compare on the basis of salary so let's see how this works out return this dot salary minus employee oops dot salary Now this will give the difference between the current object salary and the object which are passing to it. Now as we can see the error has gone over here. This will use to compare the salary. Now what we have actually done with this class is when we implement the comparable interface we have defined a particular sorting order for this class. So in future if we want to add any sorting order for the employees objects it has to be done by the salary there is no other way by which we can do this by which we can compare or sort the employee objects using the only using only the class employee let's make my point clear by moving a bit further let's define a main class for this
so in this function what i'm going to do is create an array list of the employee type let's name it list now this must be including in this imported this shows the list haven't been used so let's add some values to list list dot add new employee let's write down the names of the employees so let's say sanjay age 25 salary say 50000 let's let's add a few more employees mahesh age 20 salary 30000 another employee Sham age say twenty eight salary being forty five thousand and the last employee in the list being Vijay let's assume him to be 22 years of age and salary being 35,000 so in the beginning what this looks list looks like let's print it for this for this we will create a function public static void print list this will have so how we print this list for employee just a second in list let's print it out say e dot get name e dot get salary plus e dot get age system.output print and then list before comparison print list let's try to run this program So as we can see here, this is the initial list in the order we have inserted. Now let's try to do some sorting. We can do this by using collections.sort. Collections.sort list. Now what happens when we pass list on which basis this list will be sorted? This we have defined in the employee class, employee class here in the compare to method now the employees will be sorted on the basis of their salaries so we have done this sorting and now see what's the result of the list on salary basis
run as java application oops some error oh i'll not save the program now as we see here what we had done in the employee class we have sorted on the basis of their salary so here these employee get sorted on the basis of their salary as you can see here before the comparison the order was this and after the comparison on the basis of list on the basis of salary this list is sorted now as we have defined the comparable interface as we have extended this implement this this compare to method is overridden and we have uh, defined this so uh, the comparison order on the basis of salary now what if if i want to sort out the uh, list on the basis of any other attribute of the class say name how do we achieve that for this we have the compare comparator interface let's see how we do that see i, I uh, so i create another class uh, and let's name it name compare okay so this name compare will implement the comparator and what we do here as we had seen an, uh, earlier to implement the comparable interface we override we had overridden the function compare to similarly in this comparator we will override the compare method let's see how we do that it's very simple similar to the compare to method now this compare function takes two arguments instead of one as we had done in the case of compare to so we pass the employee employees first employee and then second employee now we want to uh, sort these actors on the uh, sort these employees on the basis of their names so what i'm going to do here return first dot get name dot compare to the second string being second employee dot get name so we have sorted here on the basis of we have compared on the basis of names of the employees let's see what the list looks like after we had done sorting on the basis of name so uh, what we need to we need to do here as we had done earlier call the sort method and pass the list argument to it for sorting with the help of comparator we will need collections dot sort and as we can see here this will have two parameters first the list and second the comparator on the basis of which this sorting needs to be done so we'll pass that list and the second parameter will be that comparator we can do that by new name compare after comparison on name basis let's see how that looks like see here it has been sorted on the basis of name mahesh sanjay sham and vijay and earlier on salary basis so similarly if we need to compare on the basis of say age we need to create another comparator similar on the lines of this comparator which we had created that would be called say salary comp comparator it will implement comparator and uh, will override the compare method as per our requirement so in the end whatever sorting on whatever logic we used to implement for sorting we can use that so in short when we use comp when we use comparable we need to overwrite the compare to method and when we uh, implement the comparator we need to overwrite the compare method what comparable do is that property is attached to a class if we want to sort it by some natural order uh, 
uh, the, which will be defined by the class we can do that if we want to add any other method any other way of comparing or sorting we we need to write our own comparators and we can achieve uh, any other law any other sorting order which we need so i hope this clears out the difference between comparator and comparable so uh, a few more difference being that the comparable interface is defined in the, the java.lang and comparator is in your java.util so i hope this lecture clears out your doubts regarding comparison and comparator please feel free to comment down comment for any other doubts you have i'll surely try to solve them thank you